Now people, today I'm going to make a dish that is incredibly easy to make, but it is absolutely delicious. And the Italian name for it is peperonata, and as the name suggests, it is primarily, primarily made out of peppers. Now, here are the peppers in question. I've got peppers of all sorts of colors, red ones, yellow ones, orange ones and green ones but you know you don't have to necessarily put in all these different colors and basically all you do is fry them up now of course it's not quite as simple as that as you will see why while I'm doing it there's got a little bit more into this dish it's actually not completely different from the French dish uh, ratatouille which is a similar sort of idea except this one after it's being fried can be left to cool down and then can be eaten as a salad so as a result it's vegetarian so the first thing that goes in is a lot of olive oil for frying now as you can see actually this is something you might want to take note of I'm using olive oil in a cardboard container and that's on purpose you see the quality is good it's extra virgin olive oil it's as good as any other olive oil but you know what you can buy this olive oil in these lovely fancy glass bottles and the thing is as they're standing in your kitchen and they're exposed to light the olive oil itself will go rancid much more quickly in this cardboard container it's protected from the light and will remain nice and fresh for a lot longer now while this is starting to come to heat there are a few other ingredients that go into a peperonata and I'm going to show these to you now now here are the ingredients you've got onions which are sliced into these kind of thin slices everything is nice and sort of elongated in this right then we've got um, courgettes which again I've sliced into nice thin slices and finally we've got some tomatoes a fresh tomato just cut into slices again now we're going to wait until the peppers start frying because the peppers will take a lot longer than the other ingredients to become nice and soft and that's what we want from this dish so as you can hear probably at this stage the um, the peppers have started frying at this stage and we'll just let them go nice and gentle like this nicely and gently so then when these have fried when these have gotten a little bit soft I'm going to start adding the other ingredients now there's one more ingredient that I'm going to add to this dish that I haven't shown you yet and that's this aubergine now what I've done with the aubergine as you can see there's liquid dripping out of them I've covered them in salt and left them to stand for a little while and that causes them to soften and um, become easier to deal with now the only, other, the only thing that you need to be wary of is of course the amount of salt that goes into this you don't want to be eating all of that so the first thing I'm going to do is rinse these under the tap now that's that done and then I'm not going to put any salt into this until after I put the aubergines in just so I can taste what the dish is going to taste like with them in it and then I can add any salt if it still needs it again that's to avoid this to become that's to avoid this becoming a really salty dish that would be enjoyable so again I'm going to just take the aubergines and I'm going to cut them into the same sort of thin slices that I've cut all the other vegetables into so that's what I'm doing right now in the meantime that's the lovely sound of the peppers frying it's one of the nicest sounds in the world really 
fine food. Can't get better than that. Now, that's the aubergines sliced. You see, you don't have to be careful about this. This is not meant to be a pretty dish by any means. This is meant to be tasty, not pretty. So then, the aubergines are going to go into my dish and I'm starting to cook them together with the pepper. And then, once I've done that, I'm taking the other ingredients again and I'm going to add them to this dish. All apart from the tomatoes, because the tomatoes don't need as long as the other ingredients. And that, folks, is pretty much it, honestly. So I'm not going to bore you with showing you how, how all of this slowly but steadily softens. Take my word for it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the end result. Now, folks, as you can see, this is coming along quite nicely, and um, as you can see at the bottom there, there's some nice juices coming out of the vegetables and they're starting to soften a good little bit. Now, I've tasted those juices and I feel that they're salty enough for my taste, so I'm not going to add any more salt. I'm going to add one ingredient just to liven this up a little bit and that is oregano. Or oregano, as some people make out of it. Um, don't be too... Um, too skimpy with it, you know, there's a good little amount. Don't overdo it either, of course, but there you go. That will just add a nice little flavor to it all. Um, if you do like a little bit more salt, I would recommend garlic salt, just for the flavor. And uh, that's pretty much it. Here are the tomatoes. I'm going to add them to it. There you go. Now that's them in it. And uh, I'm going to let them soften a little bit more. And there you have it, it's a pepperonata, and it's ready to eat. You can eat it hot, straight out of the pan, or like I said earlier, you can allow it to cool down, and then eat it cold as a salad.